video helps us find the midpoint between two points on the number plane. When we're asked to find the midpoint between two points on the number plane, here is the formula we'll use. Midpoint equals x1 plus x2 all over 2 and uh, y1 plus y2 all over 2. You can see that the midpoint formula takes the form of a big point. You've got a big bracket here with an x section, a comma, and a big uh, y section, and another big uh, closing bracket. So as we piece together and substitute each, each of the x value and y values into the right spots here, what is formed when we simplify these sections is an x value of our midpoint and a y value of our midpoint. Let's see how it works. All right, to find the midpoint between the two points here, minus 4, 1, and the point 2, 3, we're going to label each of these. Point 1, we'll call the first point, and point 2, the second point. Pretty logical stuff. The first value of any ordered pair is an x value, so we'll call that x of point 1, or x1, and y of point 1, or y1. Now for the point 2, the first one's our x value as well, so we'll call that x2, x of point 2, and y of point 2. Now by labelling that first, we don't have to think very hard for the rest of the question. We just have to read off which uh, numbers to put in which spots. So that's a big recommendation to label the uh, parts of both points first before we attempt to fill out the formula. Okay, here's our midpoint. Let's put all the right values into the right spots. First of all, you can see we're after an x of point 1. So we'll look down here and that looks like it's that minus 4. And so we'll substitute in and replace that x1 with our minus 4 value. Then we're looking for an x2. x of point 2 is in the other point over there. So that's a 2. So we'll pop that in there. Then we're looking for a y of point 1. So that's a 1 that goes in there and replaces that. And then a y of point 2, I think you can see, is that 3. Okay, so we've put all the right spot, um, values, x and y values, from the various points in the right spots. We use that uh, uh, midpoint formula as a guide above there. It's great to put a formula on the first line and then all the numbers subbed in in the second line. It does half the work for you. So let's just simplify that now. On the top here we have, in our first section, minus 4 plus 2 on the number line, minus 4, plus 2 to the right, or on your calculator, will end up giving you minus 2, and that's over 2. And the second section will simplify a little. 1 plus 3 is 4 over 2. We'll simplify it further, and we'll get a final answer here of minus 2 over 2 will cancel down to be minus 1, and 4 over 2, the two bottom 2 divides into the 4 twice, so we get the midpoint of minus 1, 2. Now, so that's just following the formula. We're sub we've substituted all the x and y values into the right spots, and we've just done a bit of simplifying carefully. So what does that actually achieve? Well, we had two points, minus 4, 1, and 2, 3. We'll pop them on the number line here, minus 4, 1, and 2, 3. And uh, that big formula, it's called the midpoint formula for a reason, it finds the point that is in the middle of that. Minus 1, 2 was our answer. Let's see if we graphed minus 1, 2. That would be right in that spot there, which, can, which you can see is halfway between, exactly halfway between, or in the middle of, uh, the two points that we started with, minus 4, 1 and 2, 3. So we've found the point that is halfway between those two other points. So that's what we've achieved there. Thanks for watching. See you next time for some more uh, coordinate geometry. PeterBlakeMaths.com for all your mathematical video needs. See ya.